Coastal Daybreak on the talk station with Ben Ball. What a way to start the day. Hey, welcome to the program. Good to have you along with us here on Coastal Daybreak on the talk station, uh, 17 minutes after the hour. And coming up is going to be a uh, wonderful celebration, as it is every year, at the Crystal Coast Civic Center for Martin Luther King Day. And, in fact, I believe it's, if I remember right, it's their 22nd annual uh, celebration. And joins us this morning is the speaker, C.L. King. Uh, Chris, good to talk with you, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, Ben. How are you, sir? We're doing very well. Uh, and, uh, yeah. again, welcome to the program. And I know you're looking forward to this. It's going to be quite an honor to be speaking. Yes, it is, sir. And, you know, I, I've been attending this uh, celebration for, uh, many years as well. And, uh, they, they called, uh, me, uh, uh, in December and asked if I would deliver. Okay. You're fading out there. I think we lost you on your cell phone. All right. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Bobby? Yeah. We can hear you now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, I got contacted, like I said, in December and uh, asked me if I would consider uh, delivering the keynote address for this event. So it's a real big honor. Yeah, that's wonderful. And uh, it is a... um uh, it is a, a great honor to be part of this, and I think there's going to be a, um, a lot of folks who are going to want to uh, come and hear you because you've had a great message talking about kids, bullying, about uh, how do we promote our kids' lives, and, and I think that's going to be a great thing to hear. Yes, sir, and, and this year, uh, you know, the uh, 50th anniversary of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech was actually this past August in 2013. Right. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of historic significance. I heard you mention today about it being his birthday. Yeah, today is the actual birthday. Yeah. And and so uh, the the reality is uh, that the message that we want to deliver this coming uh, Monday is about uh, not forgetting uh, the speech and the dream that Dr. King had uh, m- because it was much broader than just the moment uh, that. Unfortunately, the country was in, uh, but it, it extended far to uh, to the reaches of this generation today. And the one thing that I, I hope that we don't do is we forget about uh, the dream. And the reason why I say that is because I, I, I scoured the news and uh, various uh, websites on uh, Pearl Harbor Day. Right. And I found a very muted response to that event, even though it was a very significant event in our country's history, I saw very, very little news coverage on it. Mm-hmm. And so, again, something like that uh, is significant for our generations to remember, and uh, also with Dr. King and the legacy of his uh, dream and vision. We want our next generation to remember uh, what his whole vision was uh, for men, women, boys, girls, black, white, it didn't matter. Uh, and I want to try to compel the audience that we don't forget that dream. And, you know, one of the most moving parts of his speech, uh, was the way he referred to his children. Uh, you know, and how this was something that he was, wasn't speaking just for, uh, his generation, but for future generations. That's exactly right, sir. And so it's, in, it's important and imperative upon us as parents and adults and leaders, uh, that we don't allow our children uh, to forget about the love for mankind and helping one another out. Because the danger is is that we can be so consumed with our own personal lives and, and accomplishments and achievements that we can forget about those uh, sacrifices that people made a generation ago. Now, now, uh, now, I know, Chris, uh, um, uh, that you have a very musical family. You're not going to be—is there going to be any music involved in this uh, presentation as well? Well, yeah, actually, they're going to have uh, local choirs from a, a bunch of different churches. It's a very uh, spiritually uplifting event, mm-hmm. um, and of course, my, my group won't be singing uh, this year. Maybe we'll get on the ticket next year. Um, yeah, because yeah, I, I love—I love, I love watching your son play those drums there. That's a. Uh... That's yeah, fun. he's he's, a, he's an animal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell him I said so. It was it was, a, it was always great to see that. But it, in any case, looking forward to again. C.O. King, uh, Christopher King is going to be the keynote speaker at uh, the 22nd annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. celebration at the Crystal Coast Civic Center, Morehead City, this coming Monday at 11 a.m. And, uh, Chris, I know as you're working and refining, uh, what you're going to be talking about there too, just want to remind people that, um, uh, that you, they, people can be in touch with you because you, you offer opportunities for 
schools or civic organizations to hear this message about uh, protecting our kids, too. That's exactly right, sir. And uh, we're actually going to broadcast the event live on our website, which is uh, clkinggroup.com. And, again, people can uh, contact us there for uh, any other additional support that they may need. Okay. Uh, it's great. Uh, and, again, uh, the, he's been... Uh, Chris has been largely responsible in this area for helping to promote anti-bullying campaigns and, and the like, and, and that's a wonderful thing. And Chris, again, uh, uh, we have to keep you on the, you have to get back on the radio show a little more often too, cause love having you on. Yes, sir. It's my honor. I can't wait to get down in the studio and, uh, maybe get a snag a donut from you guys or something. Well, we don't have any donuts here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's why you're on next slip, so you behave. Yeah, I'm behaving. All right, thanks a lot, Chris. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you so much, Ben. We appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, all right, uh, Chris, uh, Christopher King, again, Christopher L. King uh, is going to be the keynote address at the Dr. Martin Luther King celebration on Monday at the Crystal Coast Civic Center. That plus the I Serve uh, Volunteer Fair going on in Onto County, too, at Northwoods United Methodist Church on Monday. Uh, great reasons to to commemorate the day. This is Coastal Daybreak here on the talk station, FM 107 and AM 1240. More to come in a moment.